Messi and Ronaldo's era is coming to an end, as is the generation led by stars like Neymar. So, who is next? If you think about it, Neymar has faded with them as well. But do not worry, this new generation is full of incredible talent. Some players have already had an enormous influence on their clubs, while others are ready to break through. You see, many young stars come in hot and ready, just like your mom every morning, ready to take on the football world with their skills and raw potential. Who are those players, might you ask? Here's a list of five players, all 25 or younger, who will define this generation of footballers in the same way I defined your mom last night. Let's get right into it. So we start with the main man, Kylian Mbappe, the new face of football and also the new face of Madrid. You can make an argument that it's Vinicius Jr's team or even Jude Bellingham's. But well, you can't deny the fact that Mbappe could take their spots as the main man in Madrid. He's the man who's in contention to win the Ballon d'Or this year, the front runner to win it this year. If I'm not mistaken, this superstar began his career with Monaco winning League One before moving to Paris Saint Germain for a whopping 180 million euros. To this day, Mbappe is one of the most expensive transfers below Neymar. During his career with PSG, he won six League One titles, three Coupe de France, including a domestic quadruple in the 1920 season. He also led PSG to their first Champions League final in 2020. Something that has never been done before at the club, I don't think. Correct me if I'm wrong though, but I'm pretty sure I'm correct. Regardless of that, Ilan Mbappe is something else when it comes to playing with the ball. It's like every time he steps on the field, you just know something exciting is about to happen. It's also got that speed and flair, you know? And I know it's kind of cliche, but I feel like Mbappe is a theory and re regen. I feel like Henry used to zip past defenders in the same way Mbappe does now. Just watching Kylian Mbappe play today is just a joy to me. It's crazy how much he's accomplished already at such a young age. It feels like he's been around forever, but he's still so young. And that's why he's one of the football players who will definitely define this generation when it's all said and done. It's going to be awesome to see what more he can achieve with France. Another World Cup maybe? Would he become the GOAT if he won another one? The next up in line is Erling Haaland, a Norwegian monster. He probably has one of the biggest dicks, legs in Europe. And it's just a fact. Haaland made his mark in Austria, in Red Bull Salzburg, and then continually moved to Borussia Dortmund. And yada yada yada, he ended up in Man City with Pep Guardiola as the manager. 60 million is the amount they paid for that type of monster. And that's a super bargain looking back at it now. Haaland the bargainer had a stellar debut season, helping City win the Premier League, Champions League, and FA Cup in one single season. This also included scoring 52 goals across all competitions, a record for a Premier League player. Already at this young age, he's won everything you can ever think of as a footballer. Holland was named Young Player and Player of the Season, the first player to do it in one year. And this is one of the reasons why he's going to become one of the best players of this generation. He's already getting all the accolades you could ever want as a player. His speed and force make him a huge threat in front of goal. And those qualities don't just fade away, which means I think he'll be here for a very long time. I think Mbappe and him will be competing to win the Ballon d'Or every year. As long as they're playing on the same stage, you're going to have to talk about them in the same light. So now, you might be wondering, who are all the other players that rival these? Jude Bellingham, another English sensation who started his first steps at Birmingham City, is a player who is right up there when it comes to talent. He's the most recent addition to club superstars, in my opinion, and I don't even think there's a debate about that. In his first season with Real Madrid, he's already won everything you can ever think of, similar to what Holland did at Man City, La Liga, and the Champions League in his first year. Players take their whole careers in order to win one Champions League, and it only took him one season at Madrid to achieve that. 
he is the first English player to be signed by Madrid in over 20 years. The last one was Jonathan Woodgate, and I genuinely don't know who that is, but you kind of get the point. So after moving to Real Madrid, Ellingham has proven to be more than exceptional, a true revelation for Madrid. Also, similar to Mbappe and Holland, he's already a top candidate for the Ballon d'Or. As long as he's consistent, he will be in contention to win that award every year, meaning he will definitely be the player who will define this future generation of footballers, especially in the years to come. Vinicius Jr. is a strange one. He's definitely among the best in the world, but he's kind of been in the spotlight for a lot of years now. And for me, I don't think he's better than all these players that I've already mentioned. And I don't even know if he'll be above those players at the end of their careers. But I do believe he'll be one of those players that will mark this generation of footballers. By early criticism, he now has 11 trophies with Madrid. Vinicius is a game changer for both club and country, poised for continued success. Could he be that player for Brazil, just like Neymar once was so many years ago? And lastly, I wanted to talk about take this as a reach, but I do believe that Phil Foden could get a Ballon d'Or in the near future. That's just me though. At just 23, Foden has made over 200 appearances for City, winning 14 trophies. He is considered one of the most talented players ever coached by Pep Guardiola. Can you sum up Phil Foden's contribution here in Portugal? It's... What the player? <laughs> He has the skill to become one of the best, and that's why he's on this list. Pep's comments about him make me believe that he will be the player who can take Manchester City to many more titles in the future. With him, there's no reason to panic. So yeah, these have been five footballers that will define this generation, just like Messi and Ronaldo did in the past. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are amazing. I appreciate every single one of you that always keeps tuning into my videos. I'll catch you guys on the next one.